Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach and life coach and a host of this show to Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Early in the morning again here down in Virginia. Let's talk about Christian living. Living the way Jesus wants us to live. Jesus came to give his followers an abundant life full of purpose, potential, and joy. But Christian living has challenges. So, how do we live the life Jesus wants us to live? The Christian way of life is the best way of life, possibly. So, Jesus said he came so his followers may have life and that they may have it more abundantly in John 10.10. God's way of living has great benefits for this life and offers pleasures forevermore in the next that's in 1 Timothy 4, 8 and Psalms 16, 11. That doesn't mean that Christian living is easy, because it's not. The challenges and the difficulties of this way of life are designed to help us grow to have Jesus Christ, mind and character of God. We are to learn to think and act like God because he wants us to be his children forever. So my friends, Christian living principles are... Uh, that, that we have to abide by. God gave us the Bible to teach us the best way to live and to give us examples of others to learn from. The good and the bad uh, examples in the Bible can make what may seem to be an abstract principles come to life. The articles in the Christian Living, which is a magazine, section will help you find the un and understand biblical principles for dealing with the challenges of life itself. They will help you build strong, supportive, loving relationships. They will help you grow in the knowledge of God's way and acting on that knowledge. God's way is the way of love. It's the way of peace. Biblical principles will help us at home, at school, on the job, 
in our time management, decision making, controlling our emotions, and growing in spiritual maturity. Friends, by practicing Christian living, we all will demonstrate the values that Christ has and the love that he shows us each and every day. So start today with your uh, principles. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger forever. It can change your life as well. Uh, Start today living the life of a Christian. It's not easy. Matter of fact, it's probably harder because we have to abide by the rules of God. But God will pay us back in unbelievable ways each and every day. And may God bless each and every one of you. Take good care. Bye-bye now.